Glory be to God, people of God. I just want to get on here real quick and just talk about mercy and how God um, has shown a lot of his children mercy um, by bringing them through it and just pardon, pardoning their sins and things that they have done. See, we are not to treat people how they treated us. We are still to be kind because God is a loving and kind God. We are a representative of him. We should not be trying to get back at those who got back at us. Now, granted, you know, hold your peace, but don't allow the enemy to manipulate you. That's why God says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, but every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you shall condemn. So if somebody is coming up against you in judgment, we should be what? Swift to listen. I mean, fast to listen, but slow to speak and slow to wrath. So with that being said, You, by you showing, by you, how do I want to say this? By you having mercy on, on those who've done you wrong, it's just you forgiving them. You showed mercy by forgiving them and not retaliating. You closing somebody out of your life and closing certain doors is not, is not, something you wanted to do, but it's something that God did. God shut those doors because he saw that those people were, were not right, that their hearts are not right. And they still not, if, if you was, if God was to open that door, they would do the same thing over again without even thinking about it. You know, they haven't changed, but you just forgive them and give it to God. God is the only person who can really touch their hearts. We don't have, all we can do is speak the truth, but ultimately put it in God's hand. God will do the work because he did the work in you. We know, you know, if you, those who know what I'm talking about, you know that God did the work in you. God really pruned you and stripped a lot of things from you. So now you have a new mindset and now you are able to still be show kindness and, and be loving, but to us, but to a certain extent where God has shown you how to put up those boundaries that, so those won't cross so that you won't open those doors for those, you know, individuals to cross and to ruin what God is trying to do in your life. See, people will try to, you know, um, how do I want to say it? Try to guilt you into feeling bad um, as f feeling bad for them and want to make you think that you're not doing what God has called you. You know what God has told you. You know what God has placed on your heart. So just stay true to and focus on the Lord. Don't focus so much on how others feel or how others think you're not showing mercy and this, this, and that you already shown mercy by forgiving you, you forgave and you did not retaliate. You didn't wish any unwellness on anybody. You still wishing everybody well, you still have a, a loving heart. See, that's one thing, one thing God will do. God will protect your heart. If God knows that you still have a loving heart, he will still he will still let you have a loving heart towards those who have done you wrong. But sometimes you just have to love people from a, a distance. What's the old saying? I'm going to feed you with a wooden spoon. Yeah. At a distance. You know how far your arm and then you know those long wooden spoons? Yeah, that's a distance. I'm going to love you from a distance. So with that being said, 
keep, you know, don't in this time, don't allow anybody to make you feel as though you're wrong for choosing you, for putting yourself first um, and putting God's will before yourself as well, because we all ultimately know his will is first. But I just wanted to get on here to say that don't let nobody guilt you into feeling as though um, because you chose you, you chose God, you know, and you chose to leave the old things behind and you don't no longer want to participate or affiliate with certain things anymore. Don't let nobody guilt you into feeling like you're not showing mercy towards them. You, as long as you still have love in your heart for that individual, but you just have to love them from a distance because you know that's, that's how you're going to ultimately protect yourself. Then do it. You know, um, God does, God shuts those doors. But don't let nobody guilt you into feeling bad for what God has done to protect you. It's nothing you can ultimately do because God knows that door. If that door is open, who knows why he shut it? But who know, you know, if that door, if you were to open that, if God shut a door and you were to open a door, you know how much havoc that would wreak. <laughs> like, you know how much chaos, if you just, just know those who know, you know where you just came from. You know how much chaos and, and um, dysfunction and unstableness and all that stuff you just came from? Why would you want to open that door again? So don't let nobody feel make you feel like you're not showing mercy because you're not opening the door. No. So I just wanted to get on here and say that, but... Until next time, stay blessed. <laughs>